Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's catch you up on what's happening with Mullen because it is absolutely getting crushed in the market and it's not the only stock that is being pulled down, but this one is reaching some levels that it is gaining a lot of interest. I believe Mullen stock is seeing continued interest from retail traders as the demo vehicle comes due and that is October. So I believe that you are seeing some very interesting fear and price action in the market. Now we've also got some SEC filings that you should not ignore. We talked about these in the last video and that's why we are seeing the price pressure. Of course, the Fed is in focus today and that's why it's really getting drilled down. But even yesterday with good news, Mullen took a 3% loss. So where is the bottom? Does this reach a new 52-week low? And we've lost more than 93% year-to-date. So let's take a look at what's happening in the market because this very quickly, the market sediment changed from bullish when this hit 600 points right here when it leveled off on the charts to bearish 69% to 31% market volatility at its highest right now with red across the market a little bit of section in the healthcare we've been talking about healthcare in the channel because we know amazon's out there shopping cbs is out there with a shopping list and some of those bets are looking strong now bitcoin just to understand if people are holding this or selling it twenty-five thousand for bitcoin was high now it's starting to press down towards nineteen thousand. now pow Good old pal was in focus today with the 0.75 interest rate hike, but coming in very hawkish. And you can see the picture that they captured of him here. I mean, he's trying to curb inflation. He doesn't want this to become entrenched. And the way that the data has been coming out that has been showing strong hiring numbers has just got him wanting to be even more hawkish. So during the meeting that everybody was looking forward to today, I mean, he said it would not be off the table to come in with an unusually high rate hike. And I think people are seeing destruction of demand on the table. So let's take a look at the charts and let's take a look at some of the Mullen news. You can see it came all the way down in the five minute chart here. Mullen Automotive came down to 63 cents, 63.15. And then it met some resistance up here at 65.93. So we're gonna pull this down and this is gonna be our new ad line. Of course, you wanna be careful with this. And if you do add, you want to pay attention to your indicators. Your RSI indicators seem to be being respected. You can see each time it's dipped down here, it's dipped in the five minute chart down here to about at least 23 before it's recovered temporarily and then continued on a downtrend. If we zoom out, you can see that this has just been constantly down. What I want to see, I want to see a bottom tapped and then I want to see it revisit that bottom and confirm and go back up. So what I'm looking for now, I'm looking for the 64 to either support off 63 or break through. If it does break through, I expect that this one could potentially be going to a new 52 week low. Now let's take a look at the news that hasn't budged this at all. Matter of fact, it's been pulling down and let's explain to you why. Mullen previously announced its partnership with leading German automotive engineering company, ARC, in December of 2021. So I think some of this news is just being recirculated, and that's why you're not seeing this pull back up based on news. And also, we had some filings. Let's also take a look at them. But before we do that, let's take a look and see that this has still got significant volume. I mean, it's number six as far as liquidity and being traded Trade volume is very strong in the market. Now, does that diminish as they start to dilute shareholders? Now, I don't know the answer to that. I think that retail is very strong on this, and that's why I like Mullen, not only because of the retail strength behind it, but I believe they have amazing battery technology. If this is true, they've got some great partnerships, and if they can execute with the vans, then they can buy themselves some time and they are gonna have to raise capital. And it is staying liquid. You can see 80 million, 87 million. We are about to beat the average price or the average trade volume for the day. Now, this is very curious to me. Yesterday on the 25th, it said it reached a low of 63, which I think this is strange. I've never seen a mistake on here before, but the low of 63 was repeated again today. And it's just very interesting that it, it showed a low, but it never hit 63. So let's take a look at the charts because I just want to go back real quick. And it hit 63 today, but yesterday you can see it was nowhere near 63. So I just think it's very interesting 
that it found support at 63, but only went to 66 yesterday. So I would just keep keep an eye on this. I don't know if somebody's trying to give us a heads up that is manipulating the market, but you know these things are definitely possible. So I wouldn't put it past somebody out there to be able to manipulate the market. Now we've got a borrow fee. We want to take a look at this because the higher the borrow fee, the more potential for the squeeze action. We want to see this continue up and get more costly to actually borrow against this stock and short it. So that's something that we want to see increase. We also want to keep paying attention to those Mullen SEC filings. And the last one was on 812. Now, there might not be any good news that comes out. We are expecting some shareholder dilution. And obviously, what's in focus right now is the nine months ending in June 30th, these filings, the operational costs and expenses that have just significantly increased. You can see right here, 323% from the 12 million in the nine months ending in June 30th of 2021. And this increase in general admin, research and development and whatnot, I mean, obviously R&D is something that they were actually getting a lot of heat for, for it not being big enough. And now they increased it. Obviously their R&D spend was under question with developing such amazing battery technology. So that's just, just kind of funny, but you can see a net loss down here of 128 million. And going to production is very costly, and not only costly, but when it comes at the expense of shareholder dilution, and that's what we're seeing here with the capital stock uh, general price right here, we've got uh, 2.25 billion shares of capital stock, including 1.75 shares of common stock. I mean, this is just a significant amount of dilution possibility on the table. And of course, they haven't issued this out yet, but that is the expectation now. If we take a look back at the charts, you can see that we are waiting to test this area. So keep that on your watch list. I would definitely create a stop loss on this trade. If you're in at whatever level that you're in, obviously you just want to watch this drop on days like today, find support. And in the five minute chart, this could be a good chart to just see it confirmed time and time again before it actually finds support. And then resistance up here, if we take this line, and we draw it up here, you can see there's some clear resistance of where the candles went up, but it didn't want to break through. It even tested here at 66.21 and then just finally pulled back. Now, of course, this could mean that it's going to continue the uptrend, but in this market with those major indices going from 600 to 700, that 700 turned into 838 to be exact, bear sediment up 70%. 30% bull sediment. Here we are. We go back and we can see that this is trying to find support and go back up. I don't know that it's successful. I think it breaks below where we marked before. So this is the line you want to watch here going into the close. But of course, right here, it did bust through this previous level of resistance here and started to come up. But you can see that it's not wanting to go past this 20-day uh, moving average here, the EMA, that it's not even crossing it up here. So we could see further downward pressure, but I believe that a really safe point for this stock is going to be that 52-week low. But I couldn't blame anybody if they decided to add here at 63 cents, but this is a patience market. Of course, we've got the Fed fighting demand, and he doesn't want the economy to grow. Uh, of course, inflation is out of control, so just be safe out there trading. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. I hope this video helps you out. Be patient out there, and I'll see you in the next video.